name is Sarah and today we're talking about The Art of Racing in the Rain by Garth Stein. This is one of the books on my October TBR list and was recommended to me by several friends over the last year and a half and all I can say is wow. When I finished reading it, that was literally all I could say. This book is incredible. Narrated by a dog named Enzo, the story follows the life of Enzo's owner, Denny, and his family seen through the eyes of his dog. We start all the way back from when Denny picked up Enzo as a puppy and follow their journey together through all the years of joy, sorrow, heartache, and more. The title comes from the fact that Enzo's owner Denny is an up-and-coming race car driver who is particularly known for his ability to race in the rain. Race car driving as a metaphor for life is a huge theme that is seen throughout the novel and the idea of racing in the rain, of racing in less than ideal conditions that if you are not careful could easily throw you off course if you do not keep yourself grounded, know who you are and where you stand could easily throw you out of the race completely is a huge metaphor for the things that Denny and by extension Enzo experience throughout the course of the book. Enzo is one of the most endearing, heartwarming, and wonderful narrators that I have encountered in a long time. He describes himself as having the soul of a human and the body of a dog, and as a result, he is only able to observe the things that happen around him and not comment on them. Because of that, he has an incredibly thoughtful, intuitive, introspective view on all of the things that happen to Denny and the rest of the family throughout the course of the novel. And pretty much any human has so much that they could learn from this wonderful, amazing fictional dog. Like I said, race car driving as a metaphor for life is something that is used repeatedly throughout the novel. And though I am admittedly not well versed in race car driving as a sport, what I do know about driving in general his comparisons are spot on. In the story, Denny and his family encounter some particularly unexpected and painful, super difficult, heartbreaking situations, and the whole time Denny is having to readjust and, and correct and, you know, fix the direction that he's going, and the, just the metaphors, the, all of the various ways that Enzo talks about how race car driving is like life. Even though I've never watched a race car race in my entire life, I I absolutely, absolutely adored the comparisons and the, um, just the meaning behind that sort of thought process. One of the lessons that I personally gleaned from this book, aside from all of the wonderful metaphors about race car driving in general and racing in the rain, is that there is great power in simply observing and simply listening. And you can learn so much about people and about situations if you're not constantly trying to insert yourself in a situation or in a conversation. And Enzo has given me a wonderful reminder that I can learn so much more about the people that I love and the things that are happening if I just take a step back and observe and watch and ponder those things that are happening and don't so much feel the need to insert myself into a situation. Truly, truly, this book was absolutely incredible. The pacing, the character development, the description, the story itself were amazing. I gave this book five out of five stars because when I finished it, like I said, literally all I could say was wow. I had no other response. I was just completely overwhelmed by the beauty both of the story itself and of the quality of writing in this book. This was my first Garth Stein novel and I mean if all of his books are like this then I am definitely a fan. Well there you have it friends, that is my review of The Art of Racing in the Rain by Garth Stein. I hope you enjoyed hearing my thoughts. If you have read the book, please let me know in the comments. I would love to hear your thoughts. Thank you so much for watching. Once again, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you next time. Bye. I don't know what I was talking about because my cat was trying to eat bread off the counter.